Ah, yeah. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. This is my studio, Warsaw Poland, my humble YouTube channel. My name is Paul, and good to see you again, my friends. I know, 10 days since my last vid, it only means one thing. I was busy. I know, it's like a spell cast on me sometimes that I work 12 or 14 hours a day. It's not healthy. Don't do it, actually, more or less, my message to you. But I also remember about you, my public, and I'm following the new products that are bringing on the market. Spectral Layers 12 is out. So I have to review it for you and ask the question, is it a home run? Is it an end game? Is it a breakthrough in AI development? And I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna answer this right away. No, it's not. It's the part of the process and breakthrough, end game, home run, uh, and stuff. These words are overused these days a lot. Game changer. Uh, no, AI development is just a it's just a process. And believe me or not, it's version 12 of Spectral Eyes, but I do believe the process has just began. We are just at the very beginning. So no, it's not a home run. It's a, a, a short period of a large process that's ahead of us, actually, guys. And we're gonna find out whether the algorithms are seriously improved and what this Spectral AS12 does. And of course, if you think this channel is a cool place, if you like my studio and my videos, you can consider subscribing somewhere here down in the corner, getting notified, liking this vid, commenting on it down below so that I know what you think about both Spectral AS12 and AI development in audio. Where will it go? Uh, what will we do in two years from now on? Let's discuss and let's try to find out. Okay, people, my session is in front of me, but before I show it to you, let's take a look at the official Steinberg website. What's new in Spectral Layers 12? Well, improved on mixing song module. The previous one was already very good even improved. Unmixed drums module improved. Well, drums unmixing was... <laughs> I wasn't very happy about it, what it did in the previous version of Spectral Layers. New unmixed instrument module, so a custom, I suppose, a custom profile for your custom instrument to be extracted from the track. We're gonna test it out probably. And then unmix soundtrack module, uh, so separating speech effects, music, and improved unmix noisy speech module. I'm interested in this one a lot because I use denoising, AI denoising a lot, and the AI denoising by Steinberg, the previous version was very, very so. So I hope they improved it for us. And this is the timeline and the today's session. And I'm gonna extract stems from this track for you today. Yeah, and so on and so on. So, vocals, pop vocals, with some chorus, I think, in the background, background vocals, dance guitars, organs, bass, mm, uh, drums and stuff. It's dense, well, quite well written, well arranged, well mixed, but dense. So probably that's not gonna be easy for Spectral Ears 12, and this is how it looks like. It For now, it displays every uh, track uh, containing spectral layers, it displays them here, but not in this particular order that I have on my timeline, and then not with the particular track names preserved. Hey Steinberg, what if this reflected really my timeline and the order of things and track naming on my timeline? Because for now it's kind of a mess. The first thing is actually here. I have to look for it here. And yeah, this is our track separated. You can see spectra, uh, spectral layers of this. And I actually already rendered these for you as separate stems so we can listen to the quality we've got. Here we go. Uh, uh. I, I want to be e, e, e with you, oh, oh, for all my life. Yeah, yeah. There is some bleeding from other sources, but still, this is impressive. Yeah, it is probably a bit better than Spectral Layers 11. Mm, and it, it, it's not this wow effect anymore, wow AI. 
we got used to it somehow, but still, this is impressive. Things like that were not possible two years ago, remember. And drums. So I used this unmixed drums a module with highest quality, and this is what we got as for the kick. Not bad at all, that's what I would say. Snare. Decent as well. Toms, do we really have any toms in this material? Oh, we do. Ooh, they, they sound quite lo-fi, but they are detected. Hi-hats. Let's say they are correct somehow, they are not very nice and clean. And right and crash, I expect most of the problems exactly in this department. Let's hear the ride. Yeah, this is not the right. Oh, cut in a nasty way. Yeah, more like this. So, what if I add these two? I wouldn't even say we'll, we're almost there. We're, we're just not there with uh, uh, Crush and Ride. But still, I'm fine with it. Because remember, uh, this still is amazing what we can do with uh, AI. Uh, and machine learning processes in audio. Guys, things like that were not possible. And remember, this is not like the end game, your, uh, your, your, uh, your home run for anything. This is a process. And spectral layers as a software is a, is a process as well. And AI developments just started. This is what I feel, this is what I deeply believe, that this is all just the very beginning. Uh, of what we can witness uh, throughout com uh, the coming years. Mm, and let's go to the bass. The bass is done really neatly uh, by spectral areas, let, let me say this. I like how it behaves, how it sounds. Some leakage, of course, but come on, guitars. I, th I think that the guitars were, were the difficult part here. Not bad at all. Some organs, some traces of vocals, but still, and other, surprisingly many ele elements as other. Background vocals, leads, uh, organs, everything is here. I wish there was something called keys or synths that not only piano is detected, but also because there is piano and brass and sax groups to be detected. I did not include them because there were no brass instrument, uh, uh, instruments nor piano detected uh, in the track correctly. But having like keys for every organ or synth content, that would be something I, uh, I, um, I kind of miss it. But still guys, <clears throat> let's hear this arrangement and let's ex exclude some stems from it. opens up the whole world of rearranging, remixing, uh, sampling stuff, right? We know that already. And yes, I can feel and I can state that this all is improved. It sounds even better. But I, what I'm really also interested in is this unmixed instrument thing. Because 
it is supposed to detect a solo instrument and make it separated from the rest we're having on our timeline, on our audio clip. And I seriously wanted to test it out, so I found a track that's got And then... Piano and strings that blend quite a lot. Uh, and I used Animex instrument and I took a part of this, registered this so that spectralists could learn and separate this instrument from the rest. And this is the result. I got. We're not there. We're not there, I'm sorry. What about strings? better, but still not fully there, plus... It stole some piano, so again, it's not fully there, that's what I feel. Uh, that's how I feel about it, but this is the first version. I'm somehow welcome this edition, this algorithm, and I'm waiting for Steinberg to develop it more, because it's always like this with AI. Some time has to pass, maximum months, and then we're gonna get better versions doing more crazy stuff. Machine learning is crazy and it's developing like crazy. So not there yet. I'm gonna wait for it in spectral layers 12.5 or 13 maybe. Another thing I'm really interested in, because I use it a lot in my everyday work, is noisy speech unmixing which worked <laughs> very so-so, and I hope for some serious improvements here. And this is how it sounds. I mixed my own voice with some heavy noise because I was trying to look for some tools. And of course, Voxengo MS-ED, it's a mid-side encoder decoder that lets you... Yeah, I started recording from some sort of a factory or warehouse, but I separated these and this is what I got, because I was trying to look for some tools. And of course, Voxengo MS-ED, it's a mid-side encoder decoder that lets you manipulate your stereo imaging. Sounds weird because it's in stereo, so the speech kind of drifts left and right. But what I also did is that I split it into two mono channels and I took one channel as a mono speech channel extracted. And it goes like this. Because I was trying to look for some tools. And of course, Voxengo MS-ED, it's a mid-side encoder decoder that lets you manipulate your stereo imaging and stuff, but it doesn't have plugin slots, uh, I'm afraid. Also, I found it works so much better. Thank you, Steinberg, it's usable. Of course, it became quite too dark. That's, uh, that's how I perceive this, but because I was trying to look for some tools. And of course, Voxengo MS-ED, it's a mid-side encoder decoder that lets you... Maybe like this, and maybe you know what, we're gonna create one more version. Uh, we're gonna quit uh, spectral layers and we'll go... Yeah, um, so actually I did a larger test here. Spectral layers 12 denoising versus Aiken digital denoising versus Clarity VX denoising. So now we're gonna compare three of the tools I have. Because I was trying to look for some tools. And of course Voxengo MS-ED, it's... Because I was trying to look for some tools. And of course Voxengo MS-ED, because I was trying to look for some tools. And of course, Voxengo MS-ED, it's a mid-side encoder decoder that lets you manipulate your stereo. It's a mid-side encoder decoder that lets you manipulate. It's a mid-side encoder decoder that lets you 
manipulate your stereo. Guys, I got my favorite AI, the Noiser. Wow, this is great. Can you make it a separate real-time plugin, Steinberg, please? This is wow for me. But guys, anyway, as I told you, not an end game. This is still in development, in the making, as, as with all AI, we have to remember about this. It's gonna get better every day, every month, every new release. Feels crazy, but also feels somehow, makes me ask a question, what will I do in two years? I'm gonna try to answer this question while summing the things up. Yeah, my friends, as I told you, not a home run, not an end game, not a game changer, uh, a part of the process that has just begun. There's way more ahead of us than past us. That's what I believe. So I really welcome new additions, improvements. They don't always take me there where I really want, but we're getting closer and closer. And also I think that at some point we might expect that this can go both non-destructive because it is uh, non-destructive. The sum of the elements gives you the full master track one-to-one. -one. But what if it was destructive so you take a layer and you can additionally clean it up and reconstruct missing transients, missing frequencies and stuff. That would be a cool next step. And in a year, two years, I don't know, this and probably so much more will happen both in spectral layers and in audio AI world. So yeah, tell me what you think about this particular product and where do you see yourself as an audio specialist, remixer, arranger in two years? Yeah, and for now that's it guys. And I hope to hear from you very, very soon in the next vid. Take care.